Let's say you work for a company that wanted some apps to have their volumes on ONTAP and others on NetApp Software Defined Storage on Kubernetes, Astro Data Store. You just found out you need to move an app and its ONTAP volume to a new cluster that also runs Astro Data Store. How would you do it? Astro Control Center, together with Astro Data Store and ONTAP, can make this happen easily with just a few clicks or API calls. Today, we will show how it allows for simple Kubernetes operations. Same method, same provisioner for all apps. It allows for a flexible choice per application. One app can have one backend like ONTAP, and a different app can have a different backend like Software Defined Astro Data Store. It also allows for full portability of your apps between cluster distributions and even different backends. We'll start with a cluster running your application pointing to a separate backend. Then with just a few clicks, we'll move both the application and the PV to a new cluster using Astro Data Store as the backend for the volumes. At the end, we will even do a rolling upgrade for the front end application with a PV allowed by use of the read write many access mode. So let's get started. We'll use a sample online store called Astra Tennis Galore. It's a WordPress application using the WooCommerce plugin. Is currently running on an OpenShift cluster with two persistent volumes, one for the front end with RWX and one for the back end database. This cluster is being managed by Astra Control Center using Astra Trident for its CSI provisioner and has an ONTAP back end serving the volumes. So we have a new Kubernetes cluster with Astra Data Store installed. Moving to the terminal, we can see a kube control get ADSCL. And if we do a kube control describe ADSCL, we can see the data networks. The cluster status. Node statuses. Drives. All the information. Applications then use the CSI driver, Astra Trident, to create volumes on ADS. Here we show the volumes that Trident has already created, either from the same or a different cluster. So next, let's go to the Astra Control Center dashboard. This performs application data management for our Kubernetes clusters. And you can see we have added three clusters. Two are running OpenShift, and one is running upstream Kubernetes. The upstream cluster also has Astra Data Store running on it. This can also be used as a backend for other clusters, and or we can run applications on the cluster running ADS as well. If we look into ADS, we can see the current persistent volumes on ADS that are being managed by ACC. We can also see the Kubernetes nodes as part of the cluster, as well as all the disks that are on those Kubernetes nodes. On applications, we are managing this tennis shop, which is running on OpenShift cluster two. Its backend is on ONTAP, and we're fully protected with backups. So let's move the application and its PVs to the upstream cluster, with ADS serving the application volumes. We could restore the application from a backup, or we could directly clone. We're going to directly clone, so we simply use this drop-down to clone the cluster from OpenShift Cluster 2 to the upstream Kubernetes cluster. We need to name the clone and the namespace, select the cluster, and Astra will start cloning the app. After some time, the stores comes up on the new cluster. We can see the new PVs located on the Astra TME ADS cluster and all the resources on ACC. And going back to back ends, we can see the new PVs on the ADS cluster. So on the terminal, we can see the new namespace is now on the ADS cluster and is about eight minutes old. We can also see there are two more volumes now on the ADS system, and those two correspond with the new PVs. Let's grab the service load balancer IP and put it in our browser. Everything has been cloned to this new upstream cluster that's also running ADS. Everything, the application as well as the backend volumes are all on the same cluster now. Now that we have a new version of our app, let's do a rolling upgrade. We'll edit the front end WordPress deployment and make the image a later version. So now we can watch the new pod come up and the old one get terminated. Since we're using read write many access mode, we don't get any multi attach errors. So now both the application and the storage are on the same cluster. 
And unlike local storage, you have NetApp features and functionality, as well as pod mobility throughout the cluster. You're all set to go. Today, we have shown that with Astra Control Center, Astra Data Store, and ONTAP, you can run all your workloads on Kubernetes while supporting inherent Kubernetes features, even with persistent volumes like rolling upgrades and scalability. You can simplify your operations, not only by managing from one interface, but ACC and ADS is itself a Kubernetes application. You can also provision, protect, and clone data between clusters and applications with different backends. Want to see more? Download the new version of Astra Control Center using the free trial and download the preview version of ADS and try for yourself. Let us know what you think. Thank you for watching and have a great day.